Sairam. Welcome to Shri Satya Sai Lok Seva Gurukulam online classes. Let's learn English series with Mrs. Kalpana Heblaker. So today we are going to listen to another per future perfect continuous tense. Okay, this is also very interesting. So all the tenses you have to be very careful and pay special attention because it is going to come lifelong for you. Okay, so future perfect continuous tense. Future perfect continuous tense. Future perfect continuous tense is when we are looking to the past from a point in the future. We want to emphasize the length or duration of an activity or an event. Okay. So now you have understood something, yes? Correct. Now because we are in the 12th tense, so you should know like what by reading this. Well, you should know what it is, you know. So, future perfect continuous tense is when we are looking to the past from a point in the future. So, looking to the past from the point in the future, okay. And we want to emphasize the length or duration of an activity or an event, okay. Now, let us see with the example. Now, uses of future perfect continuous tense. Now, when do we use this future perfect continuous tense? The future perfect continuous tense can be used to do the following. To denote an action or event that will keep going on until a certain point of time or another event in future. Okay. Now, see there also we said, what did we say? Future perfect continuous tense is when we are looking to the past from a point in the future, okay. So, now suppose here is the past, okay, and here is the future. So, from here we are seeing the future, okay, and we want to emphasize the length or the duration of an activity or an event. So, the duration between the past and the future. So, we are seeing the length, okay. Not by having a measuring tape, but it is just said that. Uses of future perfect continuous tense. The future perfect continuous tense can be used to the following, to do the following. The future perfect continuous tense can be used to do the following. The first one, to denote an action or event that will keep going on until a certain point of time or another event in the future. Example, Rajesh will have been working at the company for 15 years in 2032. Okay, 2032. Now we are in 2022. So we are saying that he will be working, will have been working for 15 years till then. Okay. So the next, next month, I will have been following a diet plan and a walking regime for three months. Got it? Yes. Then the second thing, you know, to depict an action or an event that is the cause of some other action or event that will happen in the future. To depict an action or event that is the cause of some other action or event that will happen in the future. Okay. Now, see the example, you will understand. I think. See, it is telling, I think my son will be exhausted when he gets here as he will have been swimming for two hours continuously. Okay. So, it, to depict an action or an event that is the cause of some other action or event that will happen in the future. So, what she is telling? that he will be tired, okay, or exhausted or tired, anything is same. 
so i think my son will be exhausted when he gets here as he will have been swimming for 2 hours continuously okay i will be tired by the time my brothers get home because i will have been cooking for many hours okay now we'll see the structural formula of future perfect continuous tense structural formula of future perfect continuous tense positive form okay subject plus shall or will plus have been plus verb in the ing form plus object which is optional and plus time for instant okay now example 1 i will have been working for 2 hours you will have been working for 2 hours we will have been working for 2 hours he will have been working for 2 hours she will have been working for 2 hours it will have been working for 2 hours they will have been working for 2 hours okay so in your homework book when you want to write in short form what you have to do is see all these will have will have been working for 2 hours so you have to write i slash u slash v slash he you don't have to write you know all these uh, how i am explaining you don't have to write that you just put a slash then it is understood by you okay then second one i will have been traveling for 2 hours 2 days i will have been traveling for 2 days you will have been traveling for 2 days we will have been traveling for 2 days he will have been traveling for 2 days she will have been traveling for 2 days it will have been traveling for 2 days they will have been traveling for 2 days okay this is called conjugation note here the helping verb have been is used along with the modal verb shall will and main verb is in the present participle form okay so see the note again here the helping verb have been okay so this is have been okay is used along with the modal verb shall or will okay here shall uh, will is there you can use some sentence shall also and main verb is in the present participle form okay so the main verb work is in the present participle so it is going on working okay so you have understood this yeah very nice okay now let us see what is the structural formula of future perfect continuous tense for negative form okay so now we have done positive now we have to do negative and then the next will be yes question form subject plus shall will plus not plus have been plus verb in the ing form plus object which is optional plus time instant okay i you we he she it and they okay now i will not say all this i will not have been you have understood how to say right so i you we he she it they will not have been using the car for whole day okay so you also write like that way only in short form i you but you have to know when to use okay if your teacher says to write then you have to write separately you don't write like this i slash v slash you you will not get marks i you we he she it they will not have been using the car for whole day okay i you we he she it they will not have been waiting long okay will not have been waiting long 
So that shows not is here. So it shows it is a negative form. Okay. Here the helping verb have been. Okay. See this have been is used along with modal verb shall will and main verb is in the present participle form. Wait waiting. Okay. Now the structural formula for future perfect continuous tense question form. Okay. Now we are going to interchange. So shall will which is the helping verb will come in the first subject will come second not will come third. Okay. And then have been will come. Okay. Now we will see with example. So we will read shall will plus subject plus not plus have been plus verb in the ing form plus object which is optional plus time instant. Okay. So now example will now see first earlier we used to write will afterwards. Okay. But now we are writing here will will I have been listening to the music three for three hours? Will I have been listening to the music for three hours? Okay, the question mark because you are saying a question. You, so you insert when you are saying you, will you have been listening to the music for three hours? Will we have been listening to the music for three hours? Will he have been listening to the music for three hours? Will she have been listening to the music for three hours? Like that way you go on. Okay. Yes, you have understood. Very good. Now next, will I not have been waiting long? Yeah, this is a negative sentence. Will I, so I am saying for the first one, okay, then you do the rest. Will I not have been waiting long? Will you not have been waiting long? Okay, so you do the rest. Hope you have understood. It's very good. Now, examples of future perfect continuous tense. Okay, brother will have been learning to drive car for one hour. Brother will have been learning to drive car for one hour. I will not have been talking with her for the whole day. Grandpa will have been reading the newspaper since this morning. Okay. So you can use this sentence. Okay. This and this sentence also you can use it. All these sentences are very simple. You know, once you know where to use it, you can easily talk. Grandpa will have been reading the newspaper since this morning. Suppose your father asks, where is your grandpa? You can say, grandpa will have been reading the newspaper since morning. He is sitting in the balcony and reading since morning. We will have been conducting sports practice since today. We will have been conducting sports practice since today. My sister will not have been studying for the upcoming exams. My sister will not have been studying for the upcoming exams. Okay. Yes, some more. Now it is filling the blanks and you have to fill the blanks. He dash not dash to the railway station before 4 p.m. She dash for the whole day. Dash, they dash their products today. Okay. They dash since morning. You dash to our birthday party. Now we are reading this sentence particular the eighth sentence without this question mark. But once you put it then you have to read it with question mark. Always remember. Okay. Now he will not have been going to the railway station before 4 p.m. She will have been shopping for the whole day. She will have been shopping for the whole day. Will they have been displaying their products today? 
will they have been displaying their products today question mark okay they will have been running since morning they will have been running since morning you will have been coming to our birthday party you will have been coming to our birthday party yes some more fill in the blanks so that you are perfect he will not have been going to the movie we will have been going to the zoo next month my mom will have been cooking since morning we will have been working on this project since december in january i will have been working in my school for 10 years okay now some more okay she will not have been going to the market she will not have been going to the market on thursday i will have been knowing you for a month on thursday i will have been knowing you for a month so here when you want to tell your friend you know that i know you since one month you will say on thursday that is on coming thursday on thursday i will have been knowing you for a month i will have been waiting for this moment since long i will have been waiting for this moment since long they will have been swimming in the pool for 2 hours they will have been swimming in the pool for 2 hours teacher will have been conducting a viva test today teacher will have been conducting a viva test today okay some more where will you have been sitting before i reach where will you have been sitting before i reach next january we will have been living for 10 year, year for 10 years next january we will have been living here for 10 years you shall have been coming to my sister's wedding ceremony you shall have been coming to my sister's wedding ceremony they will have been studying for 4 hours they will have been studying for 4 hours in november 2022 i will have been teaching french for 12 years in november 2022 i will have been teaching french for 12 years okay oh again some more okay some more fill in the blanks for you all now you have to start writing and filling on your own okay don't wait for me so by the time i finish reading the sentences you should have finished the blanks so you know to be quick enough just write the blanks first okay and then fill the sentence he dash for one hour by the time i meet him dash he dash for one hour by the time i meet him he dash not dash for one hour before i meet him next month i dash year for 5 years by next july i dash year for 3 years now how many of you have completed writing the blanks how many attempt very good so i see that most of them are nearly coming to a perfection for future perfect continuous tense okay very good so let us see whether your answers are correct he will have been waiting for one hour by the time i meet him correct yes will he have been waiting for one hour by the time i meet him question okay he will not have been waiting for one hour before i meet him next month 
I will have been working here for five years. By next July, I will have been working here for three years. Okay. Now, how many of you have got full correct? Very good. So, you need a clap. Okay. So, let us clap for you, all of you. Very good. Okay. So, let us see that he will have been waiting for one hour by the time I meet him. Okay. So, all these are correct for you. Very good. So, now let us see. Select whether the following sentences are a positive, negative or question. Now, you have to say whether the sentences are positive, negative and questions. Now, go to the side column and see the structural formula for positive, negative and question forms. Okay. And be thorough and see that you follow that. I will not have been starting to the school in an hour. I will not have been starting to school in an hour. What is this? Negative. Correct. They will have been starting to school early by 7 a.m. They will have been starting to school early by 7 a.m. They will have been starting to school is it correct? No. Will they have been starting to school? Yes. It is a question mark. You will have been starting to office in half an hour. Okay. It will have been starting to fly by tomorrow. Okay. Now see how, which is question and which is? Yes. Your answers are correct. Very good. So, yes. Now, how many of you have got full correct? Very good. Let us see. I will repeat again. I will not have been starting to school in an hour. So, here which word is telling that it is negative? Correct. Not. Okay. So, I will not have been starting to school in an hour. It shows that it is a negative form. Okay. Then, they will have been starting to school early by 7 a.m. Okay. So, they are going to start. So, it is perfect. So, it is a positive form of the sentence. Will they have been starting to school? Will they have been starting to school? Question mark. So, it is a question form. You will have been starting to office in half an hour positive form. It will have been starting to fly by tomorrow. So, now why we are saying it over here? Okay. So, it is for all the objects. Objects in the sense um, like, you know, name, place, animal, thing when we play. So, things like, you know, pot or here in this case starting to fly means it can be a plane. Okay. It can be a bird, you know, small, small birdies are there, no? Yes. So, it will have been starting to fly by tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Now, some more. Now, let us see. She will not have been studying Sanskrit next year. It is a negative form. When I am at school, my family will have been flying to India. When I am at school, my family will have been flying to India. It's a positive sentence. I will have been traveling to London by this time next week. It is telling, you know, when. So, I will have been traveling to London by this time next week. It's a positive sentence. He'll have been playing the guitar for 10 years when he turns 20. He'll have been playing the guitar for 10 years when he turns 20. This is also a positive form of the sentence. How long will you have been flying there? How long will you have been flying there? It is a question form. Okay. So, now you have understood what are negative sentences, positive sentences and questions. Very good. So, learn the structural formula properly so that it is easier. And in the beginning, you know, you have to read like that, you know. 
this now see here we say that uh, we say take one sentence i will have been traveling to london by this time next week so you have to say which is the subject which is the you know object all these you know you have to say and then you have to form the sentences okay so now let us see thought for the day for loud reading and handwriting practice now what is handwriting practice in the last class we discussed about loud reading okay now let us see what is handwriting practice and why we are insisting on handwriting there are two types of handwriting sometimes some children they write because they are taught in the school or something like that they are uh, writing in cursive writing you know cursive writing so what is cursive writing okay we'll see what is cursive writing we have taught you that is joining so i'll say my my name okay okay so see this is cursive writing because it is joining the letters to one another okay and then when we write print handwriting okay so these are not joining the letters together okay so these are separate separate so this or this some are following this and some are following this so now the better way of writing fast you know comes in this form that is cursive writing and the uh, slow you know some children are very slow they write in print handwriting so that you know they have to think what it is here it comes with a flow so i always prefer children to write in cursive writing okay and then maintain a book as we had told earlier and then each page you know or uh, you know divide the page into two if the uh, uh, wordings are small then you know what you do divide the page into two okay and then you write nicely if you if you call god with pure love and selflessness in your heart he has to come he has no other agenda this is said by sadguru shri madhusudan sai okay so now we'll see if you call god with pure love and selflessness in your heart he has to come he has no other agenda this is said by sadguru shri madhusudan sai so now we will see the spellings also because what happens you know when we keep writing so many things you know we just miss out minor uh, spellings so you know we have to be selflessness s e l f self less l e s s s less ness n e s s so if you call god with pure love and selflessness in your heart h e a r t he has to come he has no other agenda a g e n d a now sadguru this is said by sadguru shri madhusudan sai so when you write it is very important for you to maintain the spellings also properly and where all you have to see the spellings are in um, capital letters okay so sadguru capital s a d g u r u r u sadguru capital s r i shri madhusudan m a capital m a d h u s u d a n capital s a i so sadguru shri madhusudan sai okay so you write properly this and whenever you are writing suppose somebody's um, birthday comes you know or marriage anniversary or you know any other party you are going just carry a small flower with you and then write in a tag of paper you know you just write if you call god with pure love and selflessness in your heart he has to come he has no other agenda so what happens you know the receiver will be so happy and they will keep on reading again and again okay so that may make a difference in their heart and your heart also okay so 
Thank you for visiting Sri Satya Sai Lok Seva Gurukulam online classes. I pray to God to keep you happy, prosperous, and be spiritual upliftment day by day. Thank you. Sai Ram.